Okay guys, so today is a very big and exciting day. It's Friday, I lied, it is Thursday, June 26th, and I start dieting tomorrow. Um, in the last vlog, I discussed, there was like, um, it was a show day from like a show, like last weekend, weekend before, I was talking to um, my coach, Alberto Nunez, and the other 3DMJ coach, Jeff Alberts, that were there in the gym at the room at the time about um, about something that B brought up. And my, Brandon Wells, my boyfriend, who also has been a competitor and all that, um, and his concern as to me not, or me doing too much cardio and not eating enough. Um, and I want to talk to you guys about that. I guess like how I feel about that, how everybody feels about that. I want to talk to you about, um, I guess the big like epiphany I had and the odd reaction that I have to it. And I want to talk to you about um, just like what we are doing and like the plan from here for a little bit. Okay, so after our, our converse, the conversation, I guess, kind of went like, B was like, hey, you should maybe talk to Berto and Jeff about, about the things you've been, you've been doing. And so, um, me and all my pride kind of knew I was doing, um, I don't want to say the wrong thing, doing not as much as I as I should have done. So as we all know, and as I know, and I'm again, pretty educated. I have a master's degree. Um, I've written books on this shit. Um, but um, the fact that you know, you're off season, if you're not competing, your goal is ob to obtain a physique and keep a physique that's manageable while eating as much as possible and doing as little cardio as possible so that when season comes, you have tools to play with. You have food to take away from, and there's cardio to add in. Um, and I, I did that quite a bit more than more than usual. Like, but I didn't really see it through, and I didn't, I didn't continue it. Um, I guess so. The moral of this video isn't like all the shit I did, but basically, like. I was still doing too much cardio, still not eating enough. And by those exact numbers, um, I was probably doing like 900 to 1200 calories a week of cardio, like a mix of hit and less. I was, and I say was, like this is up until today, um, or up until like last week after I talked to him. And I was pretty consistently like six days a week had a large range in my macros which was weird for me this was the first time in a few years so I had like 20 to 40 grams of fat I mean sorry whoa 40 to 60 grams of fat um like anywhere from 150 to like 200 carbs most days but on the weekends it would get like up to like 2 to 250 or something like that um not all weekends but like if we were out of town or if we went to dinner or something like that and then um, protein one one forty five ish, and usually anywhere from like one thirty to one fifty. And then again, that was six days a week. It, it, and then, like I wouldn't plan for the seventh day, but like I would just kind of like we would go to a show or we would go out of town or blah blah blah. Um, so it this is kind of how it came up, right? It was I was. Um, It was like three weeks ago, and we were at Gold's. The new a new gym, a new Gold's opened up in in Sacramento, and they have incredible lighting. And I saw like I turned around and and um, I saw my my butt. It was a little squishy, and it freaked me the fuck out. And so um, I was like, "Fuck that!" So I immediately I was like, "Next day, I was like 150 carbs," which was stupid gut reaction it was stupid and so I did that for like I went so I dropped food for like six days out of the week and then um 
and it was like a day or two into that I've had a video like all my videos have my fitness pal um, like diary so you can see what I eat like every day in in the like description box and one of the viewers was like hey um, so I just checked out your my fitness pal and you look like you have dieting macros I'm like fuck and it like hit me hard, you know, I was like, this dude's right, whoever it was, I don't know who it was, whoever it was, thank you. Um, and then like when B came home that night, that's when we like, oh, kind of open discussion on that. And I was like, he's right, like that, 150 carbs is what I started, like, what I started my last contest prep on. Um, <clears throat> never mind you, like the average. Anyways, so I have improved, um... I want to say the off season between 2011 and my in 2013, though two years that I've competed, and I want to do 15, so I've like skipped a year every time, you know. That first off season, for most of it, I spent anywhere from like 100 to 120 grams of carbohydrate per day. That whole like year and a half in between. Luckily, like a couple months before prep, Berta walked my food up, and then we had again we started dieting at like 150 grams of carb. So this off season. I probably spent most of it between 150 and 200, probably more between like 170, 160 and like 215 carbs for the most part, the last like six months I'd say. Um, but I got, I got scared and I like knee jerk, like took food away or whatever. Anyways, on top of that, I have um, a very athletic history, I grew up in gymnastics, as we all know, I did cheerleading all through college and shit. Um, I've always done tons of cardio and I missed running but I was so like I added a hit in there but I was scared to take the list away so then I just like maintained a lot of cardio um and again what I've been doing is overly easily maintainable like that's not to me it's like really easy it's fun I get my cardio fix it's what it, but at the same time um I feel real fluffy and my body's kind of frightened it a little bit and and so I've been steady at like 145-ish pound, 144 to 146-ish for like two months now. I'm rambling way too much. Okay, so that's where I'm at, right? That's the current state. So that all just kind of like blurred into like, fuck, like it hit me. I'm not, I'm not practicing what I preach, right? Like it's so, and this is, again, all goes back to the reason why I know I need a I need a contest prep coach that I'm smart enough to know what to do. But like for most people, like, like Jeff Alberts brother said to me, he's like, most people you can't get their asses off the couch and get them to go in the gym. And he was like, but you're, you're programmed to work hard and not eat a lot. <laughs> and, and you know, the struggle is real, but like you like the struggle, like there's no need for it. So basically as coach puts it Alberta's like we need to save save you from you so um it was decided that day that okay Andrew we gotta you have a powerlifting you meet in September anyways so let's diet you we'll take a break so that we can get ready for um kind of the the season to come that'll I'll probably start so it'll go like mini cut a diet break and then the big um, prep to start probably, I think December or January, probably, hopefully January, I don't know. But so that's my kind of like year plan, right? And Birdo said, you know, we need to, we, let's map out kind of our timelines and we'll get everything together. So um, I did a video like this, like I always do for, for coach. Um, in season, we do weekly check-ins like this. I'll have, it'll include posing too in my, my training spreadsheet. But for now, um, just based off of that conversation, I was like, okay, so I had to like kind of gather my gather my brain, gather my thoughts, put all my shit in a spreadsheet like I, like usual, and set out um, my goals for the year. And that right now consisted of powerlifting meet September twentieth, um, Something big in October that I really can't tell you about, uh, but it involves traveling a little bit. Then um, Thanksgiving or Christmas, I'm not sure yet. I'm going to go back home to Texas. Yes, this is included in my goals. I think they're important. Um, then I'm going to go home for a little bit, at least spend some holidays, see my family. 
Um, January, I might go to Hawaii for a gymnastics meet with some of the kids I coach. And then June, start competing, hopefully. Um, so that's kind of my timeline right now. Those are like the big things in my life that I'm like, all right, these, these are going to happen. Okay. So I let coach know all those things. I let him know too. And I was like, okay, this season's going to, is a little bit different. And this is something that, um, I kind of had to learn last season was that I don't want, um, set dates. So I spent all last year doing Andrea's Mayhem vlogs and I didn't even compete in the Mayhem <laughs> um, so there's there's two things that I know I want to do differently this year one I don't want to build everything up around a certain show or shows even um, I would like to be ready to compete at least two maybe three times sometime between June through September so I'm leaving that kind of open because I don't think I was completely ready my first show last year. Um, I was still a little fluffy, which is, I mean, again, relative. Okay, I'm a, I got second. I looked okay, but um, first show, I feel like I should have died in a couple more weeks, maybe. Um, but then we we really changed a lot in that peak week, and it kind of threw me off course for probably two or three weeks. But unfortunately, like two weeks later, I had a competition. We changed less, but it still threw me real off for a couple weeks. And I was supposed to compete in the mayhem, and I was like, I don't want to mess another one up. So then I, that's when I took that, like, maybe, like, a month off before I competed again. So I had to skip. So two things I know I want to do is I don't I don't want to set hard dates because um, I want to compete when I feel ready. Nothing's worse than getting on stage and being like, well, this is what I got today. You know? Like, I want to be like, okay, this is a decent enough package for now, at least my first one. And, like, let's see what happens, and let's build on that, you know? So, um, and then the second thing is I, I will not sign up for shows that are any closer than like three weeks. Um, because things happen and whatever it is, you want to have time to adjust and prepare again. And I didn't like that I committed myself to so many shows like so close together. That works really well for a lot of people. And honestly, that third show that I did last season, my last show, I finally felt like I got it right. Like, um, I finally felt like... Because we didn't change a fucking thing. I didn't do anything different. Um, except for the day of show. I had like a small er, like little breakfasts. And then between, I got to have, like, I think I had like um, a, a small ish lunch, but like a piece of pie. And then for dinner, like we went out, whatever. But um, so those are all things that I learned. So that's leading up to this. So I, Alberto asked for. My goals, um, we all knew, okay, Andrew, you probably should have pushed up the food a little more and probably taken it easier on your body. The doctors even say so because I don't have a period still. Um, but Jeff Alpert's brought up a good point. He was like, you know, you probably don't have a period regardless of weight because I've gained enough weight. The doctors asked me to get, I probably gained enough weight 10 pounds ago. Um, but the doctors had, had asked me to do that and whatever, it happened anyways. And Jeff was like, well, your body is like, knows it's not time to bear kids. Like, you are working out way too much. And, um, and it's, and it's funny because it seems so easy as it's not, and I'm not saying like shit on any other sports, but like most, most sports, like since I was like 10 years old, I practiced four hours a day. Um, so like 20 hours a week starting at like 10 years old. Um, and I like from gymnastics. So every day is nothing new to me. I love it. Um, being at the gym for more than an hour today is nothing new to me. I love it. Um, I almost feel like I've become a little bit addicted to it. Um, and not in an, again, like it's the opposite of the person that can't get off the couch and get their ass in the gym. Me, it's like I would feel, re I feel odd on the days that I don't go. Um, some of my bodily systems are reliant on it. I know that it sounds like 
for the same reason that I probably can't have a period is probably the same reason why if I don't go do cardio or go like get my heart pumping, I, I like get constipated. Like my see my like nervous system like doesn't like it it's like it's so reliant on the cardio that so many things function better when I do have it. Like it wakes me up. I feel anyways, I don't need to go there. But um so that was something I need to rest. I'm really sorry for how long this video is, but I just like I have all this shit to get up. Um and let's see, so I talked to y'all about that. So that is the plan. So we're gonna we're gonna do a pretty aggressive diet right now. Um we're going to break, I don't I don't know when. He basically gave me a macro today and was like until I say so. And then we'll um start the actual cut. Um, I don't know, I'm guessing in January. I know that um there's no it'll be pretty aggressive. Um We'll be losing weight while taking down cardio. Um, because they, I mean, everyone in my life, again, there's like a few people that matter, but everyone that matters and cares about me is like, calm down, you know? So, what coach, um, coach says I do. Um, so, and again, I think there's something to be said for the fact that I researched my coach for like over a year and that like he knows me very well and that he's a close personal friend and that we have the very, you know, all that shit. Like I'm not saying you should meet someone, hey, what's up? Uh, you have coached one of my other friends at one point, like cool, I'll do everything you say. Like, no, trust your coach, know your coach, know that they have the best interest in mind, know that they know you and with all those things that I'm lucky enough to have, coach says, all right, you're decreasing, you're doing 600 calories a week of cardio which is less than I've ever done. I started last contest prep with a thousand a week, so he's like, um, 600 calories a week of cardio, however I want to do that. And the macros starting tomorrow will be 40 grams of fat, 130 carb, 130 protein. And I will hit those within five grams, and I will do 600 calories per week of cardio and no more. And that is it. Now, the biggest part about, or the, the thing that's like nearest and dearest to me about, yes, that's the plan, that's what happened, that's how we got there, um, is the, the very, very, very odd sense of relief that going into a diet gives me. And this is, I guess, the, the controversial controversial, the controversial, um, part about this, this vlog. Actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut it here. We'll do a part two so that they can connect on each other.